Look familiar? We're rushed, working harder, faster, longer, and running out of time. Brian Kirk feels the pressure to keep up. I've been laid off once, uh, actually twice in my life, and uh, so I'm very happy to have a job in this economy. Brian has a busy career and a family, and what he won't say is no. Accept every challenge that comes my way to say yes instead of no every chance I can. The sacrifice? Sleep. Brian works way into the wee hours and admits he gets three, maybe four hours of sleep a night. It's not fun, but you kind of get used to it. He's not alone. 65% of Americans say they've got sleep problems. Bottom line, we're tired and cranky. I'm going to have you reach back. At the OSU Sleep that. Disorders Clinic. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some monitors on your head. Patients get hooked up to a bunch of wires. And this is going to tell when your chest is moving up and down and trying to breathe. It may not look like fun, but this can tell doctors. It's going to go into your nostrils. What happens to our bodies after we go to sleep? We monitor their brain activity with an EEG to see if they're awake or asleep. We monitor their oxygen levels. We monitor flow in and out of the mouth. And with cameras and these monitors, they can catch it all, determining stage of sleep every 30 seconds throughout the night. The number one complaint they hear. We're expected to do more during our day, work multiple jobs, come home and take care of our kids, and then find time for sleep. Which all adds up to chronic sleep deprivation. The number of people getting less than six hours of sleep almost doubled from 2001 to 2008. And what we really need, on average, is seven to nine hours a night. It may be easy to shrug it off, but we end up hurting ourselves. We may feel more foggy, we may feel like it's harder to remember things, and we don't feel as refreshed. And long term, we're setting ourselves up for health risks, boosting the risk of heart disease, stroke, depression, even obesity. It causes headaches in the morning, it can affect how well you perform the next day and increase your risk for car accidents. So what can you do? Dr. Dawes says wind down sooner and turn off the gadgets. Easier said than done for Brian, who's just trying to balance it all. I think the things I have with my kids, those moments I have with them, uh, I treasure those a lot.